Hey guys, Bandit Fred here, and you're probably sitting there wondering, why on earth are we looking at this? This is the end of a battle. I actually wanted to show you this. Um, I have never played RU before. Never in my life have I played RU before until last night. Last night I decided I, I've never played, I might as well try it out. I mean, I, I built a decent team, I thought, and threw Unknown in there who actually does something in this battle, which is incredible. He's not just death fodder. Uh, I love me some Unknown. He's probably my favorite quote-unquote legendary, not legendary, I don't know what to uh, classify him as. He's probably one of my favorite psychic types of all time. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys my ranking, actually. I, I'm 14 to 9, which, you know, probably isn't great, but I've only been playing RU for a couple of hours, and I, uh, I'm doing pretty decently, and I, I've never been this high up on a ladder before. It makes me feel pretty good about myself. I, uh, I'm 375 out of 500 people right now, and, uh, I'm probably gonna keep playing this. If I get into like top 50 or something, I might do a ladder series to top 100 or top one. But uh, this is a uh, this is a lot of fun. Ru is if you guys haven't played Ru, I really really recommend playing it. So I actually have a really good battle for you. Whoa, I really have a really good battle for you guys here. So it's just gonna start off. Now I'm gonna pause this really fast. In Ru, I see a lot of gimmicks. I see a lot of entrainment Durants and stuff like that. So uh, he's rocking Hidden Power Fire just because of that. Also, a lot of people like to switch in Grass types or such as a Yen Mega on uh, this because after after a Protect Speed Boost, they can outspeed and usually kill it. But uh, sometimes he hangs on and is able to get a Revenge Kill, so it's pretty nice. But uh, so you see me lead off with this Jellicent because I look at his team on the team preview and I see that Doug Drio and I'm like, that's going to lead. So he actually he actually mixes it up on me. He goes ahead and I bet you if anything this is Rapid Spin Rocks him on top. He does use Rapid Spin later but he never uses Rocks. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that's Rocks hip on top. And this guy predicts and he goes ahead and goes, alright, I'm going to switch out into Dale Fox to get rid of this will o coming my way, which is a smart move. But I'm like, I'm specially defensive, so even if you pack Energy Ball or Shadow Ball, I can take it and retaliate back. And so my Shadow Ball does a crap ton, and I get the special defense drop. So I'm free just to click Shadow Ball, and he goes into Alamola. Now, I hate this thing. I hate this thing so much. It is so defensive. It is so stupid. He's going to talk to me. I'm going to burn him to see if he's carrying Aromatherapy or if he's carrying Refresh. Because if he's carrying Refresh, I'm going to switch in to Claydol and try to get a Toxic off of him and get my rocks up. So that's what I do, just to see. And he is carrying Refresh. I'm like, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get up my rocks. I don't care if he scalds me. He actually just goes for Toxic. I'm like, okay. And then I'm just going to go straight for the Toxic on himself. Now, I should have switched out here, but I wanted to play it to see what he would do. I should have switched out in to Heliowisk to get uh, Thunderbolt off. Now, if you're wondering why these guys haven't been named yet, it's actually because I've uh, I've not really played enough. Like I said, I've only played about two or three hours of this, so uh, I've not really got around to finalizing a team yet. But I think this is going to be my final team. So he does switch in. I, I do switch into Heliowisk here. Um, just to, just to kill this Alamola. I do get a crit. It wouldn't have killed without the crit. He would have lived at 20%. But of course this is Arena Trap and I'm Choice Scarf. So there's nothing I can do here. I have to go for the Thunderbolt and I do get taken out with an Earthquake. That is fine. Because now I can switch right on in to Yen Mega and go for a Giga Drain. He goes for the Rock Slide and I flinch. I have been in this situation so many times before and never have I flinched. That irked me so badly that that was that was angered me deeply so Yan Mega doesn't get to do anything in this battle that's fine I'm just gonna go for the Scald and that is a dead Delphox now the offensive pressure is on my or on his side the defensive pressure is on mine so I don't know what this Hitmontemp is coming in for so I just go ahead and uh, click Will-O-Wisp on anything that wants to come in because a free burn is a free burn guys and this is where I start to uh, start to get confused because I don't know why he brought in a Bronzong when I can just recover and then switch out in to Hitmonlee because he only set up a light screen. <laughs> I don't I don't really understand. He goes ahead and he earthquakes for some reason. <laughs> this is I don't understand why he played the Bronzong this way because it will die to a high jump kick. 
and I am Reckless. I'm Reckless Assault Vest, which is actually a really cool set. If if you guys have not played around with a Reckless Assault Vest set yet, you need to. Because everyone predicts you to be Normal Gem, and then you have stuff like that, Knock Off and Poison Jab for uh, fairies, and it's great. It's absolutely great. So he makes a bad switch here. And I'm just going to go ahead and Scald, hoping to kill the Stugdrio in one go, but it doesn't, sadly. But I do get the burn, so whatever damage he's going to be doing to me is very minuscule, so... I don't have to worry about it, and his light screen runs out, so there's no really way he can live this. He does go for the the move that'll do the most damage, because even though it's not really resistive, but it does a decent amount. So he's just going to go ahead and switch into Gorbis, knowing I can't do crap to him. Now, I thought, I'll just go for a refresh, or refresh, or recover, and then switch out, but I see him going for sub there, and I expect this shell smash right off the bat. Now, I know this set. This is this is just smash pass, and I don't want to deal with this, because there's no way I can win if he smash passes. So what I've got to do is, I've got to stay in, not worry about my own health, and take care of that substitute. So I'm going to go Shadow Ball. I know he's going to sub again, and I will die to Toxic, but I'm able to take it out. That's, that's the benefit of this. I'm able to take out the sub with the Shadow Ball. Now, I'm going to die to Toxic. I can get a free switch into Hitmonlee and get off a Mach Punch before he can set up the sub, which means he won't be able to set one up. Now it forces a switch or it forces him to go for Aqua Jet. I can live that. So he does switch. He switches into Hitmon Top, and to me, this is fine. I can switch out into Clay Doll. I do go for the Mach Punch again just to kill the Goribus, but uh, <laughs> of course he switches up. So I'm going to go straight into Clay Doll, and I was, my, my plan here was just to set up a Toxic and then start going for Psy Shocks. I do carry Psy Shock instead of Psy Kick, and I'm starting to doubt that. So I go for the Psy Shock um, knowing that he has the Sucker Punch. So I, I can take those all day, I'm physically defensive. He's going to make the smart play here and switch out and let Toxic bring me down because his, his Sucker Punch is only doing 27%. So he's going to let Toxic bring me down. To 27%, so that way he can kill me with a Sucker Punch. Now, this is the better play on his part, but that means I've got two Pokemon to his one to take him out with. And this right here is the only reason I run this beautiful bouncing little A. So, it lives the Sucker Punch. It, he actually gets a pretty average damage roll, so I was like, but he doesn't kill. I was so angry with that. No, no, I was so happy, first off, that he actually did anything. But I was super angry that he didn't kill. I know he's going to go for a Sucker Punch. That's all he can really do. And I do outspeed and kill with a Mach Punch. So I don't even have to worry about the upcoming Sucker Punch. Now, like I said, that battle's the one that put me pretty high up on the ladder, actually. And I'm, I'm super happy about it. I'm having a lot of fun in RU. There's a lot of interesting sets. It's kind of like a revitalized version of Inu. It's a, it's a slightly larger version. So if you guys want to see this instead of an Inu Ladder series, I'm okay with that. Inu is really competitive right now because a lot of the YouTubers are doing it and a lot of people enjoy it. But RU is just a lot of fun, guys. Uh, I had a battle uh, earlier with a, a Retaliate Choice Band, um, Giga Impact, uh, what was it, a Slay King, and that was a that was a close one. That was a that was a very hard fought battle there, but. Anyhow guys, I'm Ben Fred. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, question of the day, do you want to see an RU ladder session? I am fully equipped to do so. I've got a decent team, and I'm starting to learn the game a little bit more, and I, th I think we can do this pretty well. I mean, I understand that as you go down, so do the point spread, because it's harder to get points in the lower in the lower things, but uh, I, I feel confident that this is just this is just like in you, just with some slightly better Pokemon, so I, I'm really liking RU. Anyhow, guys, so answer that question of the day. Do you want to see a ladder series in this, or do you want to see a ladder series in Inu? The Inu one will probably be longer than the RU one, so we might just, uh, I might make an executive decision and choose RU just because it'll be shorter, and you guys can see if you like the ladder series better with this. Anyhow, guys, I'm Ben and Ferret. I hope you all enjoyed. Sucker punch that like button. Drop a sub if you will. Try and help out the channel as much as you can. I, I am so thankful for you guys, especially the guys from Pokemon Turf Wars. You guys have boosted me up so much. I'm super confident now. I'm, I'm battling a lot better just because of you guys, and I really, I really enjoy the support I'm getting. So thank you all very much, and I'm going to leave you with, if I can go to home, just a sight of my team. I'm not even going to go through it. Just one little quick scroll through. You guys can pause the video and see my sets. All right, guys. I will see you all next time.